Hi, this is Jeff Greenberg, and I'm going to show you how you can use trimming to beat some words using markers. I have a little montage cut here to the music, and the problem, of course, is that it's not really well aligned with the beats themselves. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. I'm going to stop it right there. You can just see it's just not cutting along with the beat, especially those first couple cuts. I have the ability to use markers. Now that's the letter M, M for marker, and I'm making sure nothing is selected here, and I'm just going to hit play, and this time I'm going to drop the letter M. I'm going to press it dynamically during some of the beats. Now, all that really remains for me to do, as I zoom in with the plus a little bit, is align some of these markers, some of these beats, to the marker itself. And I can see this one right here. I should be really having this happen right at this hard beat right on the marker. Now, for that, I'm going to want to put my playhead at the marker itself. Now, I can click on the markers here. But an easier way to do it is to go to the next and the previous marker. I'm going to go to the sh keyboard shortcuts, and I'm just going to type in mark. And you can see that it's Shift-M to go to the next marker, Mac and PC. It's Shift-Command-M on the Macintosh to go to the previous. Shift-Control-M on the PC. I think those are also under the marker menu. Go to next and go to previous marker. They are. So I'm just going to go right to that marker, Shift-M. And now I can use any type of trimming I want, probably a roll trim in this case. And I'm going to go ahead. I've already got the roll trim selected, or I've already got the preference on, and I can just drag it right to the spot. What makes this even cooler, going to the next edit, next marker, Shift M, is I can select the edit and tap E to extend right to the edit. I'll go ahead here, Shift M to the next edit, to the next marker, and I'm going to click here. I might even manually take the rolling edit tool. Click and I hit the letter E. Let's look at those first three or four cuts. And I'm dead on the cuts. This is a, just a fantastic way to improve the way you're cutting a montage with these markers. And just so you know, you can use, and it's not marked here, it's, it's from the keyboard. It's Option Command M on the Macintosh to clear all your markers. It's Control Alt M to clear all the markers on a PC to make them all go away. Now this is a great way to cut against a montage. You might want to do something a little bit different when we talk about something like a sound bite. You might want to even prep your sound bites for uh, with markers for salient words, words that are particularly valuable. Now I did speech analysis a little bit earlier and you can see this shot here has got speech analysis. Well you can't see that it's had speech analysis done until I switch the workspace over to meta logging. When I do that you can see all the words that he actually says and I'll just play this back. And it's not perfect but it's not bad. Um, of gravity. Um, is the same thing as a quantum of matter, so as, an, let's say, an electron. And both are described in terms of a single object, a string. So the string oscillating in different ways could be a quantum of space-time or a quantum of matter. Now, I know that this is going to be, while well, this is a great interview, I'm going to want to use some B-roll, and I might just take the word quantum. Notice that every time I click on the word, the playhead moves to the, where that word was in the video. Well, I don't think you, you put two and two together here isn't too hard. I go there and I come back to my source and I hit M and I've just put a marker there for the word quantum. And I'll go to oscillating and I'll do the same thing there. And I'll go to quantum and do it again. If you want to, you can even double click one of these markers and you can type something in like oscillating. And now when we go to use this, that information comes in with that marker. So this becomes a really great way for you to prep 
for some B-roll and valuable B-roll because when I edit this to a timeline, I'm not going to edit, I'm going to actually edit it to our our wonderful montage piece here. I'm just going to throw it at the end of the montage, this whole clip. You can see those markers come in with it and they make it easy for you to go ahead and say, oh, there's something important and valuable there. That's a great use for these sort of markers.